Hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my channel, Sherelle Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. So if you have health anxiety, you're in the right place. Um, but I wanted to come on here and do a video um, because something surprising happened to me um, over the last week, no, last couple of days. Um, I've had a very stressful month. Um, there's no doubt about it. Um, I say stressful, I don't deal with everyday stress very well in general. Um, I can manage my anxiety, my health anxiety now very, very well. Um, but everyday stresses still seem to bother me and it's something that I'm working on. Um, so what happened was um, about, about a month ago, I changed my deodorant, well, the scent of my deodorant. I use a natural one. Um, and I used this lovely new scent, which smelled beautiful, by the way. And I broke out in a rash. I was all, you know, awful, really itchy. And I wasn't anxious about the rash because I knew where it would come from. It was, you know, obvious. Um, even though my health anxiety was trying, like, what if it's this? I was like, shut up. Um, but it was really distressing. It was so itchy. I couldn't sleep. I was scratching, like, sort of like, whilst I was asleep, waking up with, you know, scratch marks. Um, and it was just really problematic. You know what it's like when you've got an itch and it was just so itchy. Um, so that was really stressing me out because I wasn't sleeping um, as, as well as I should have been and whatever. And then um, once that started, it's not fully gone by the way, but once that started to get a little bit better, um, I then, <laughs> TMI by the way, pretty gross, but I then had a um, hemorrhoid burst and it ruptured and it went everywhere and I was like whoa and it was really scary and I was really triggered in the moment I did calm down afterwards but in that moment it was really scary and my bum was very sore um for a couple of days like I really was in pain I was having to you know constantly have baths and stuff um then my fiance had uh, again TMI so I'm not going to tell you his business but he had an issue which I was really worried about as well um and then after all that, I got strep throat. Um, so um, I had it four days ago. And let me tell you, it wiped the floor with me. Absolutely wiped the floor with me. Um, there is a reason why I'm getting to this point, by the way. So it wiped the floor with me and um, was totally awful. Like I was really unwell. Like, I mean, sky high fever, um, really, really unwell to the point where I had to admit defeat and get antibiotics because I was really poorly. Anyway, so since then, I've developed this new symptom and I'm like, wow, I've never had this before. But it's like this involuntary gasp, like that. So I just did it there. So I keep walking around and I'm doing that. And I'm thinking, what, what am I doing? Um, and I've never done this before, never had this symptom. Um, I'm not going to Google it because Google will tell me that I'm dying. Um, but I really, my my best guess is that where I've been so stressed, I am hyperventilating and I'm not getting enough oxygen. And this is my body's way of like, you know, inhaling, getting in the good stuff. So um, I, and funny enough, yesterday my lips began to tingle. Um, and I was like, I'm definitely not got getting enough oxygen. My hands and feet were cold. So um, this afternoon I sat there and I did some really deep breathing and I felt so much better, but when I um, when I'm just going about my business, it's happening, and it's like I like just keep doing this. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting to me and fascinating when my body throws a new symptom at me that I've never had before, and I'm like, wow, okay, now we've got to deal with this. Um, and you know, I it's always triggering, isn't it, when you get a new symptom, because you're like, oh my goodness, I've never had this before, this must be bad, this must be pathological, but the interesting thing is, is that our symptoms do shift, um, there is something called symptom shifting, where your brain knows that you're not scared of one symptom anymore, so it will give you something else for you to give it, you know, because to, to, it wants your attention, right, the anxiety wants your attention, so it's quite common um, for, um, for the brain to do that um but for a health anxiety sufferer of course it's really um it's really scary and it's like oh my goodness like is this bad is this my anxiety what I always do now is I chuck every symptom in the anxiety box in the benign box as I call it 
and it'll stay there until something else, else changes. So if this gets worse or I don't know, I develop like additional symptoms, then absolutely I'll go and see a doctor. But at the moment, I'm putting it in the benign box and it's there to stay and I'm just going to accept it for what it is. It's almost definitely anxiety and I'm just going to leave it there and sit with it. Um, even though it makes me feel uncomfortable, I accept it and I surrender to it, you know. Um, and that's been a big part of my recovery. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just tell you about my funky new symptom. Um, just because you never know, one of you guys might have it. And this, even if this reassures one of you, it's like, great, done my job. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I'm almost at 20k and I'm, I don't care about followers, but I'm like actually quite excited by that. Because it's like, wow, like I went from just sort of like, thinking that nobody had health anxiety and it was just me to like grow in this huge community and that is like amazing to me um follow me on instagram as well by the way because i post a ton of health anxiety reels loads that's all i do um so if you're looking for light-hearted health anxiety stuff where we can poke fun at ourselves um follow me on there and if you want to join my patreon by the way um, I don't really have many slots available for the one-to-one -one coaching, but if you join my Patreon, you have access to my Patreon-only content. So I do longer videos, um, just different videos in general, more kind of self-help videos rather than talking about symptoms. So if you're looking for help, you can join. It's £3 a month. Um, uh, there's various tiers, so if you join the the lowest tier, that's you you just get access to the videos. If you join the next tier, you also get a free workshop with me once a month, and it kind of you know goes up. So um, take a look. I'll post the link to it in the description of this video. Um, and yeah, it was uh, great coming on here and doing this video very quickly whilst um, my uh, my one baby is asleep and my older baby is downstairs with her dad so I was like run up here quick and do a video because I don't get the chance anymore like it's you know between um having the kids and having a social life and my clients like I have so many clients now um uh yeah it's just insane but I I am really 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 going to try and make more content because um this is where it all began on YouTube so anyway thanks for continuing to support me guys and I'll see you very very soon bye